Hi, I am Ashikur Rahman from Accounting Celebrity. Welcome back to my channel where I upload a couple of accounting tutorials weekly. So today our topic is Profit and Loss Appropriation Account. So many students do not know how to prepare this account. But if you understand, this account is quite easy. So here is the format of Profit and Loss Appropriation Account. I'll show you how easily you can prepare it. So no time to waste. Let's get started. So today we learn how to prepare this profit and loss appropriation account and what is profit and loss appropriation account then we will follow an example question to solve this account okay so what is profit and loss appropriation account profit and loss appropriation account is necessary for businesses especially partnerships this account is prepared for the purpose of distributing profits or losses among the partners after making all the adjustments relating to the interest on drawings, interest on capital, salary, commissions to partners, and transfer to general reserve. The profit and loss appropriation account should be treated as a separate account from the income statement. It is also a nominal account, which means all the expense items of the partnership business are debited and income items are credited okay so this is actually a nominal account okay where we will include all the expenses and incomes of this partnership business okay so this is a vertical format to prepare this profit and loss appropriation account you can write all the expenses on the debit side all the incomes on the credit side when you follow horizontal format okay so here we are doing vertical format so first of all we'll include all the incomes of this partnership business and then we'll write we'll subtract all the expenses of the partnership business okay so here let us write profit and loss appropriation account okay so first of all we'll include all the incomes yeah so before we start doing here let us have a look at the question on the screen so here Shumit and Dio are the partners of this business Shumit receives a salary of seven thousand dollars a year from the partnership okay interest on capital is paid at a rate of ten percent okay profits are split in the ratio three is to two okay the partnership agreement also provided for the interest on drawings okay so here we got several information first of all we got the ratio of distributing the profit or loss which is 3 is to 2 okay then we got the information of rate of interest on capital which is 10 percent okay so here also mentioned that there will be interest on drawings okay we'll see later in the question okay so let us have a look at the question once again on 1st january 2015 their balances were as follows okay capital is there current accounts are there so by the way we are doing the first part which is profit and loss appropriation account in the second part i'll show you how to prepare the current account okay for these partners okay what is written in the question then the following further information was available for the year in the 31st December 2015. Okay, profit for the year is $64,000. Okay, so we got here profit for the year which is $64,000. Okay, this will be written first of all here. Okay, in this profit and loss appropriation account. And we got salary which is $7,000. And Sumit will receive this salary. Okay, then what we have in the question? We have the drawings. $19,000 for Sumit and $12,000 for Dio. Okay. And there is an interest on drawings which is $1,800 for Sumit and $1,200 for Dio. Okay. So these are the information given in the question. Okay. Now, first of all, we have to record the profit for the business. Okay. Which is $64,000. Okay. So let us start writing with this information which is profit for the year so let us write here profit for the year okay so here you see two dollar columns so we'll write in the last column okay to facilitate our calculations here sixty four thousand dollars okay we don't 
very good then i told you before that first of all we will record all the incomes of the business then we'll subtract all the expenses okay so what is income here in the business so for the partnership business there is only one income which is interest on drawings okay so here in the question interest on drawings is given so let us write here interest on drawings so you know here we have two partners so first of all we'll write here write here sumit then do okay in the question we have clearly sumit will pay eighteen hundred dollars as in interest on drawings and do will pay twelve hundred dollars okay now we will add these two values so if we add we get here three thousand dollars so we will write in the last column okay because this income this interest on drawing will be added to the profit for the year okay so profit for the year was sixty four thousand dollars now if we add these two values we get here sixty seven thousand dollars okay so these are the total incomes for the business okay now we'll write the expenses we'll subtract the expenses from this incomes okay so here we got salary in the question written that sumit will receive the salary from the business okay so let us write here salary and this will be received by sumit okay it is seven thousand dollars so let us write in the outer column seven thousand dollars okay bracket means sub subtraction okay we'll subtract this fellow from this income sixty seven thousand dollars okay then what we have here we have interest on capital which is ten percent okay on both of the partners capital this is an expense for the business okay because owners supply capital to, to the business and business pays interest on capital to the owners means the partners okay so it is an expense will subtract this expense from the incomes okay so let us write here interest on capital okay so here we have two partners one is here to meet and another one is due okay very good now let us have a look at the question we have to see the capital capital account one hundred thousand is for sumit and one hundred fifty thousand dollars for do okay so let us calculate capital here for sumit's it is one hundred thousand times ten percent it is ten thousand dollars yeah and do supplied one hundred fifty thousand dollars capital and if we multiply by ten percent it is fifteen thousand dollars okay so these are the interest on capitals for both of the partners okay so let us write here in the first column ten thousand dollars sumit and fifteen thousand dollars d okay we add these two values and we will write the outer column it is twenty five thousand dollars okay so again subtraction will subtract this value from this total income okay so here in the question there is no more expense okay if there is commission or other expenses then we could subtract okay but here only two expenses one is salary and the one is interest on capital okay now we have to calculate we have to subtract these two expenses from this total income okay which is sixty seven thousand dollars okay so what we get after calculation we get here sixty seven thousand minus seven thousand equal to sixty thousand sixty thousand minus twenty five thousand equal to thirty five thousand dollars okay so this is the profit for this business to be shared between these two partners okay now what to do we have to distribute this profit between these two partners okay so the ratio is three is to two that means show me to receive three shares of this profit and the deal will receive two shares okay from this profit okay now how to distribute so let us write here first of all profit share profit share okay now here this profit will be shared between these two partners so let us write the name here first of all Shumit Shumit then deal okay so Shumit will receive three shares of this profit yeah 
so how to do it how to calculate so if you add these shares here 3 plus 2 equal to 5 okay so we'll divide this value by 5 35 thousand dollars we'll divide by 5 and we'll multiply by 3 this is 4 show me it okay and for due it will be again 5 35,000 by 5 multiplied by 2 okay this is for du okay so now if we calculate here we get 21,000 for summit and here if we calculate it is 14,000 for du okay now see if we total this add this two here it is 35,000 dollars okay so this is how you have to distribute so we have completed this account the profit and loss application account this is quite easy if you understand so you have to remember just you have to add the incomes first then you have to subtract all the expenses from the total incomes okay so this is all about our today's lesson i hope you enjoyed and you understood this lesson if you think that this lesson is helpful for you please share with your friends and in my next video i'm going to show you how to prepare current account for the partners okay for these two partners okay so this is all i'll see you soon with new video until then bye bye and take care